Hi, I'm John Everett with Zern Industries. Today I'd like to touch upon a subject that our representatives and our customers alike have asked us to, to broach the topic, and that is troubleshooting a ZW209 pressure reducing automatic control valve. Now, with all valves, as they're in the line for a considerable amount of time, there's a number of things that could happen to them, and you know, we're not going to really troubleshoot all those different things. The one we were asked to troubleshoot was the valve is not sealing correctly after the initial installation. So to set up the hypothetical, we got the valve mounted in line, we went through all of the commissioning procedures, got all the air out, adjusted the valve to the proper flowing pressure. The problem at hand is that when the valve goes static, it no longer reduces pressure. So we've got a distinct procedure to provide to you to show you how to troubleshoot this valve with very little effort, and that way you can determine whether it's the pilot that's leaking by or the main valve itself. So again, we've got the valve mounted in line, we had it commissioned, got all the air out of it, everything was fine when it was flowing, but as soon as we shut off the downstream demand, we note that there's a considerable rise in pressure. In other words, the downstream pressure equalizes with the incoming pressure. That's an indication that the valve has some form of debris or something wrong with it that's preventing it from sealing correctly. In a normal situation when we've got the valve mounted in line, all of our ball valves in the control circuit are going to be in the open position. What we want to do is try to make the valve go into a fully closed position so that we can determine which portion of the valve is leaking. What I would ask you to do is on the outgoing ball valve in the pilot system, shut that ball valve off. That forces the whole entire valve into a closed position. Frankly, the incoming water has no choice but to flood the diaphragm chamber and push the large valve into a closed position. Now we would come downstream and we'd want to bleed off some pressure. For example, open up a hose bib or any valve that may be a faucet downstream. We're going to open that up and drop the downstream pressure. As that pressure has been lowered, we want to begin watching a downstream pressure gauge. We'll have to look at a downstream gauge. We've isolated the gauge on the valve so that it's no longer going to show us downstream pressure once we shut this ball valve off. But again, with that ball valve in the closed position, I'm going to watch a downstream pressure gauge. If the downstream pressure begins to rise while I have the outgoing ball valve closed, I know I'm leaking through the main valve itself. I can't be leaking through the ball valve. Ball valves generally don't leak when they're in the shut position. So the only path of leakage would be through the main valve itself. Conversely, if I bled off that pressure and I'm watching my downstream gauge and I see no rise in pressure, I now know that I'm leaking through my pilot. So in, in both of these cases, by simply shutting off a downstream ball valve, I'm able to determine whether or not it's the main valve leaking through or whether it's the pilot leaking through. In either case, what we would do is go ahead and disassemble that particular component, clean off the fouling, and then we can go ahead and recommission the valve and put it back in service. So I think I'll run through that one more time just to make it clear. Valves in line, fully commissioned, everything's ready to go. When we're flowing water, we're regulating perfectly. But when we shut off downstream flow, our downstream pressure tends to equalize with our incoming pressure. We're going to shut off the outgoing ball valve in our pilot system. That will bias the whole valve into a closed position. We'll go downstream, open up a valve to bleed off some of the pressure, and then close the valve and begin watching a downstream gauge. If my downstream pressure rises while the ball valve on the pilot system is closed, I know I'm leaking through my main valve. Conversely, if I don't see a rise in pressure, I know that I'm leaking through the pilot. In either case, we're going to disassemble those valves and uh, clean out the offending matter, put the valve back into service, and we should be absolutely fine. I hope that you find this helpful. If you don't and you need a little more information, don't hesitate to call us at Zern Wilkins. We're happy to help you with any problem or troubleshooting question that you may have. Thank you for watching. For more information, please subscribe to our One Zern YouTube channel. Call our customer care center at 1-855-1-ZERN and visit us at zern.com.